Well, he's not attacking me. What's he doing? A compy. A wild female compy and a little love heart. Ah, oh, bless it. But he's just looking at me. Oh! <laughs> it bit me in the face. <laughs> Get away from me, you little bugger. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. I am Torman Brad, and this is Ark Survival Evolved. Now, this is the 2020 version of the game, and it was released in 2017, and I haven't played it yet. I've played um, Atlas, and uh, got a few hours in on that, but not too many, and I haven't touched um, Ark Survival Evolved, but it was recently on sale for uh, £9 in the UK, and I thought, what the heck, I'll snap that up. So, here's a, a Let's Play and a First Play of Ark Survival Evolved. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's just get that volume down a bit. That was way too loud. So, resolution, uh, I'm going to want that on uh, 1080. Window mode, no, we'll have full screen graphics. Uh, I'm going to chance high. What's this thing? Tell you what, I'm going to knock some of that down a little bit. And here, let's see. General shadows, I know that's usually a killer for frame rates, terrain shadows. I'm going to stick that medium as well. Texture's high, sky high. Clutter density, fine. I think we'll just try it out and see what happens. All right, so there we go. So we're on patch 306.83, and that's the current version as, as, as far as I know. Survival guide. Let's have a quick look at that. Hey, survivors. Welcome to the Ark. Before you can get started on your epic survival adventure, there are a few basic things you'll need to learn about the game to give you the best possible chance of survival. Ooh, dinosaurs. So, um, overview. The right-hand side displays your hood. That's that. And we'll, we'll primarily inform you of your experience, weight, thirst, hunger, stamina, and health. When appropriate, it will display your torpor. Torpor. Torpor and whether something is harvestable. Torpor, whatever that is. I never heard of that. In the hood, right side of the display, any state of maximum fire is currently affected by. These can include buffs, debuffs, weather related effects, and conditions. Radial wheel, uh huh. Uh, interface which allows you to interact with specific entities in the game. It can be found on creatures, structures, and players while holding the use key. And inventory. Survivors, creatures, and most structures have inventories. At the top of the inventory, you will see two tabs. One tab is for your item, and st item storage, and the other tab is for crafting new items. Okay, that's those two. Below the two tabs, there is a search bar for you to filter your tabs. That's always good. Um, uh, as well as some buttons in which will help you manage your inventory. At the bottom of the inventory, you'll see your quick item slots. You can place items to make it quickly accessible. Uh, always displays your currently equipped, equipped items, which you will see visible in the center. Experience. So we've got health, stamina, oxygen, food, water, weight, melee damage, movement speed, crafting skill, fortitude, and torpidity. Survivors and creatures gain experience points through gameplay. Nice. As you gain experience, you level up and gain stat points, which can be spent to improve your survival skills. Oh, okay, it's a familiar sort of system. Points can be allocated in health, stamina, oxygen, food, water, weight, melee damage, movement speed, fortitude, and crafting speed. Okay. Engrams. As you spend your stat points, you gain engram points, which can be used to learn the required knowledge to craft new items. Uh, from a priv primitive tier to a modern technology tier. Oh, okay. Each survivor has a limited amount they can learn, and some engrams may have prerequisites before they can be unlocked. Stat points and engram points remain permanent unless you create a mind wipe tonic. Uh, sounds a bit like um, Conan Exiles, where you could re spend your um, stats. 
in uh, in certain areas. Okay, which were function we set both your stats and engrams to turn the points of GMs back. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so there we go. So that's user interface. Crafting, uh, harvesting. Before you're able to craft an item, you need to harvest necessary materials. You can harvest items by interacting with objects on the arc. When you are first starting off, you will want to pick up stones, punch trees for thatch. Oh, yeah, we love punching trees. And pick berries from bushes. Okay. As you progress through the game, new tools and creatures have become available to you to assist with harvesting, allowing the process to become more efficient and refined. Okay, yes. Yeah, so typical survival sort of stuff. Crafting, uh, necessary materials. You can craft the item in the crafting tab. And shelter. Dangerous virus crucial. You build a shelter to stay protected. Yep. You can craft basic structure pieces in your inventory. Upon crafting a structure, you will want to pick up a good spot to place it. Pick a good spot. Consider your location. How close are you to resources? What who lives nearby? Are there any points of interest you want to consider? Uh, if you think you found a good spot, you can begin the process of setting up a base. Sometimes it's better to build right away and move later on when you have advanced further. Okay, yeah. Placement. If you place your first foundation, you'll be able to snap other structural items to it, and then your base will begin to grow. Uh huh. Standard fare. Tiers. Progress through the game. Uh, unlock new tiers of crafting. Upgrade the base. Fine. Crafting stations, of course. So crafting stations at reach higher levels unlock new engrams. Uh, you you find that some of the new items do not appear in your crafting tab. This is because you crafted a crafting station. Okay, so you craft some on your person and some at a station. Then they may need fuel. Yep. Uh, wood. Uh, sorry, gasoline. Fabricated. These stations will have distinct inventories as well as distinct engrams, letting you know what you can craft, assuming you have the engram knowledge. Okay, yes. Oh, fine. Treasures and taming. We dodos. Uh, creatures on the island can be tamed and used for multiple reasons, such as transportation, hunting, traveling, harvesting, storage, defense, and companionship. There are two main methods of taming a creature. Torpor taming and passive taming. Torpor taming is a process of rendering a creature unconscious and feeding them to raise their taming affinity. Once they have reached maximum taming affinity, they will be successfully tamed. To knock a creature unconscious, you will need to gain a significant amount of torpor from combat. Right. Uh, the most common tools survivors use, uh, yes, use to knock a creature unconscious are slingshots, Tranquilizer arrows, tranquilizer darts, clubs, or their yeah, fists. To keep a creature, uh, creature knocked out, you will want to feed it narco berries or narco narcotics. Applying damage will also work. Creatures lose uh, effectiveness from taking uh, tame damage. Uh, right, okay. So passive taming. Ooh, Gigantopithecus. Feed more. Oh, it had tiny, so it'll tell you what you need to feed them. If he doesn't beat the crap out of you, look at the size of that thing. Or is he really small? He could be really small. Looks pretty serious though. Passive taming is accomplished without raising the creature's torpor. Key to this is feeding it until its taming affinity has maxed out. Ah, right. Well, that's what I would do in Atlas where you drop, was it, berries down in front of the hogs and so on. And eventually you'd win them over. Uh, that took quite a while. So we can feed these things certain food to um, win them over instead of this torpor business. Um, so we're going to place this desired meal in your quick slot, walk with the creature from behind, hit use. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Passively tame creatures, you lose effectiveness from taking longer to tame, as well as interruptions during the chain. Yeah, all right, so you've got to get on with it. All right, arcs are quite long. All oh, right, so that's an arc. Arcs are quite large and can take many hours to explore. Oh, wait a minute. No. Is the area the arc? Yeah, right. The key to navigating the enormous environments is to recognize landmarks such as obelisks. Right. So that's probably an obelisk. Uh, caves or mountains as well as which biomes they are found in. And correlate this with your minimap. The coast regions are the safest area to navigate. As you move deeper inland and further up to the high altitude areas, difficulty the map will increase. That makes sense. Uh, but Konani, uh, fully explore the Ark to uncover its secrets and discover the hidden artifacts found in caves and use the obelisks to challenge and conquer the guardians 
so that you can unravel the mysteries of the Ark. Okay, so the Ark is the place. All right, Explorer Notes, a quick look at that. What's that? Explorer Notes can be found in hidden places throughout the Ark. These are notes. Uh, these notes are journal entries left behind by other survivors that have also been stranded on the Ark. Each survivor shares a story about the adventures. All right, so that might give me some guidance as to where to go next, what to do, and maybe help me with um, progression, I guess. Okay, now host or local, oh well. Right, general, uh, arc rules, uh, difficulty, dino damage, player damage, structure. I think I'm gonna leave all of these on the defaults. Uh, harvest amount, character water drain. Yeah, I think this is Obviously, they're the recommended settings. And there might be some things that I'd want to change later. So, story arcs, the island. I haven't got Genesis. I haven't got the Scorched Earth, Aberration, or Extinction. The mods are oh, great. It supports mods. I haven't got any downloaded. Right, I'm just going to go for the first option, the island. I'm not going to do custom and I'm going to do single player. And here we go. Here's our guy, Zadus. Right. Uh, so we can customize him. Survivor name. Okay, well, I am tall man. That will do. Don't know how tall he is, but don't suppose that matters. I don't know. Torso, arms, legs, upper length. Um, I should make him tall, I guess. Uh, leg length. Ooh, torso height, so that'll make him taller. Okay, that'll do. Right, tall man, create new survivor. Uh, south zone one, easy. Create survivor. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Ah, lovely rest. Ooh. Oh, it's a bit, a bit jerky for my liking. Was that just the animation? Oh, that's not bad. You're cold. You should find something. I missed it. What does E do? E's pick up. Oh, I picked up a stone. And another one. There we go. Let's get some stones. What's that? Stone? Oh, no. And added lots of stones. We get these twigs. No. Right. I wonder if that thing's hostile. Right, so left button, punch. Right, right button, nothing. So if we get some wood or thatch, that's still a bit loud, isn't it? Options. Okay, so we got some thatch on the go. Oh, a little bit of blood there. Whoops. Am I injured? And everything looks okay there. And there's a frost symbol down at the bottom. So, yes, I'm cold, but I didn't see what it said. How do you bring that up? Uh, I. Ooh. Uh, specimen implant. Right. Stones. Thatch. Right, crafting. Uh, right, stone pick, a, a torch, what's that, write notes, okay, well I want one of those, so I need, oh, two more thatch and one wood, so we need to get some wood, let's get some more thatch from here, two more thatch, wood, what do you reckon, wood from, I think you get wood from that, try a tree, Level up. Oh, I got there. We go. Wood. Okay. Uh, level ups available. Access the inventory. So it's I for the inventory. But in the meantime, let's craft one of those because I don't know how long it'll take. And how do you craft? Double click. Yep. There it goes. Champion. So 
inventory one of those will have that in number one and see what happens number one whoosh nice little flick there that was a bit sexy oh yes and you get loads more using that champion so level ups available access the inventory to apply it where oh here we go so what do i want health stamina oxygen food water weight melee um well the food's down so should i boost that crafting skill movement speed oh that might be handy um i'm gonna want to carry stuff what does that say i'm carrying 6.8 already with those bits i've got a few stones they probably weigh something Right, one point anyway. So what are we going to have? Let's go for, um, let's, let's stick it in stamina. Um, right, stone pick. Why have I got that? Torch. Points available. Oh, all right. So I can buy the ability to make a fire or a hatchet or a spear. I've got eight points. Oh, champion, so I can have two of those. Well, it said I was cold, so let's have the fire. Double click, yeah. And we want to defend ourselves, so let's have a spear. So crafting, I need, oh, I need flint, more stone and wood, and for the spear, fiber, flint, wood. Okay, so. What's that gone? And flint. Flint. Uh, equip fists. All right. I need more stone anyway. Um, flint. Lots of stone. It's pretty good looking, mind. So flint, uh, flint, stone, stone, stone. All right, it's going to be a different color. Uh, flint. I only want to pick. What the hell, Jesus! What the hell? Is that going to get me? three of them oh here yeah. I'm gonna have to kill you I don't like this maybe don't go in the water haha -ha. don't like the water right off you go Okay. Jeez, come on, give us a chance. This is the easy start. I'm saying that he hasn't attacked me. Okay, give me flint. Stone, stone, stone. Flint, yes. Okay. Right, so this is supposed to be the easy start. So maybe, is that actually a triceratops? It is a triceratops. Maybe they're friendly. Uh, okay, I think you would have attacked me by now. Right, so crafting. And we want to make a fire. Oh, no, we're going to do... Oh, I need more wood and fiber. Let's get that done first. And then we'll get fire going. So wood and fiber. Oh, wood and thatch, sorry. No, it is fiber. 
Right, where do you get fiber from? Fiber. Haha. -ha. Oh, and some stim berries. And knuckle berries. Alright, so they're the ones for the taming. Um still not sure about that. Oh, okay. Oh, level up already. Nice. So let's get the spear made. Oh no. How much fiber? Twelve. Uh another nine. Okay, that's fair enough. Any plants? Yes. Nice. I have all of the fiber. Loads of fiber. There we go. All right. So left click, stabby, stab, stab. Right click. Ah, right click is the throw. Let's just, oops. So right click and then let go. Yeah. Pick it back up. Yeah, champion. Okay. Oh. Now I don't reckon they're very friendly. Um, let's see. What's the throwing distance like on this? So I'm aiming for that stone. And it drops quite a bit. But that's okay. Pick it up. And we need... Oh, level up. Let's get that level up done. Um, where was that again? There. Um, no. Oh, it's this one. So I've got health, food. Let's boost the food. Oh, and it's got giving me loads more engrams. So I can make a hatchet. I guess that's better for getting wood. Um, let's have that. And we should have some trousers and a shirt. We better make some trousers. What do we need? Fiber, just loads of fiber. Ah, and you can just hold down E. Holding down E. Lots of narco berries. What happens if I eat those? And now let's craft some pants. Oh, I've got 79. Oh, there's a little thing. Damn it. Oh, he's not attacking me. What's he doing? A compy. A wild female compy and a little love heart. Ah, oh, bless it. But he's just looking at me. Oh! <laughs> it bit me in the face. <laughs> Get away from me, you little bugger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, female and the male. Okay, so they're a, they're a happy couple. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Right. Um, I've completely forgot what I was doing. Where's the? Oh, should I spear one? <laughs> right. Uh, uh, yes, making pants. <laughs> Crafting. <laughs> um, right, I think they're made. Inventory, that's it. And we'll put those on. No, double click them. Yes, double clicked. And we want a shirt. 29.40, so I just need another 11 fibers. A little compy. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, fiber, fiber. Fiber, yes. What, 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 what? Oh, get out of here. I'm going to have to make a, a bat. Punt them across the island. Uh, crafting. A shirt. So, this should help keep me warm, I guess. Um, is that... Uh, sorry, inventory, double click, shirt on, okay, and uh, what else do I need to do, do I need to make, um, 
do with some pants. We could try making a fire. It might give me experience. I've got plenty. Yeah, let's do that. So we might get some um, XP for that, or whatever it's called. And inventory, fire, we'll have that in three, and we'll pop that down. We'll stick it down here. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Right, we'll put it there. Pick up allowance for 29 seconds. Right, if I want to move it, I guess. Right. Well, I'm happy with it there. 29 sec access inventory. So. That's the inventory of the fire, so it's going to need wood on it, I'd bet. Yes. And light fire. Ha ha. There we are. Nice. Oh, level up. Let's level up by the fireside. What have we got? One point. Um, right, food and water. We're going to have to sort that out soon. Weight is going up pretty quick. What am I carrying? I'm not carrying. It's mostly berries. 11 stones. Oh, a lot of thatch. Um, I might put that up. Let's have the boots. Six points. Mm -hmm. Let, let's do that. Let's get the, the gloves and the hat. Okay. Now the crafting. Oh, now I need hide. Oh, man. I'm not ready for hunting yet. Um, hat. Fiber. Let's get a hat going. Okay. Oh, the fire's out. Um, so, fiber. And tinto berries. Let's get this hat on the go. There you go. Guess that up here when it's ready. There it is. And oops, just double click. And he's got a little hat on. Yeah, good lad. Okay, we're gonna have to kill something. To get, oh, spoiled tinto berries. Right, hang on. Let's have a look at eating. So food 61.5 out of 110. 63. So it's giving me one and a half. Oh, it's just loads of that. What about that one? Nicho berry. I'm not getting a lot from this. I think we need to kill something. Naga berry, I'm not sure. Yes, makes you sleepy. Tasty. And we've got loads of those. A lot of berries. Uh, tasty, make red dye. Let's eat some of that as well. Okay, so we can pig out on berries all day, but I think we want some meat. So we want to find a small animal. We want water as well. What did you do about drinking? Ah, Doddle. Hit E. Water. Sorted. Oh, that's easy. Salt water as well, I guess. Never mind. Uh, so the weight's fine. Fortitude, top of it. I haven't got any of those yet. Food is still going up. Right. Slow release berries, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, I think make another spear in case the uh, the first one gets lost. So we need two more flint and eight wood. So let's get we little flick. Two more wood, eight flint, one, two wood, I want some flint, can I just chop that one, nope, crouch and do it, no, something there, hello, you friendly too, male triceratops, Some flint. Oh god! Oh man, these little things. Oh, got him! 
Get him! Right, you're for it this time. Both of you. Oof, in your face. Oh, got one. Yes! Oh, we're going to have some meat tonight. Uh, oh. <laughs> what was that? Did it just break wind? E, E, uh, get rid of that. E, decomposes. Uh, did I get some meat? Oh, there's another one. Oh, you little buggers. Get it. In your face. Oh. That's it. Oh, yeah, sorted. Right, so, oh, I've got hide and meat, so I might be able to make some shoes and have meat for supper. Nice. And uh, did I get enough flint? Uh, where is it? Flint. No. Uh, no flint. Five flint. I can't remember what it was now. It's 30. Uh, oh, yes. Um, it was wood that I wanted. Two, uh, six more wood. Self buggers. There we go. Six more wood. Keep hearing footsteps. And where'd those little guys go? I wonder if I need to do anything with those, you know, the skinning thing where it said about the axe. I wonder if I make an axe. If I can use their skin, or get more, more resources. Um, but anyway, first of all, let's get this back up spear made. And let's have a look at that. Oh, I need one more wood for that. Well, let's just do that while we're on. There we go. Uh, one of those. There we are. So we'll have that there. Don't need those berries there. Let's put some of those down there. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Not the hallucinogenic. It's the normal one. So food's good. Water's easy to find. Um, I've now got two spears to kill stuff with. And oh, let's try skinning one of these. Yes, five hide. Ten hide. There you go. No, oh, it's meat that time. Right, champion. So I'm going to need some more wood on there. Charcoal, right, okay. Uh, wood, tiny bit of wood. So for cooking, do you just put the meat in there? So, oops, ah, oh, it's run out. Um, inventory, I don't think that's cooked. Sp oh, spoil time, six minutes. Um, so, how do you, oh, it's raining, oh no. Uh, how do you cook food then? Campfire, uh, hold, hold for more options. Um, maybe it probably had to cook for longer. Let's get some more wood on. It might help with the rain. And I think if we can get this food cooking, I'll call it a day for this episode. And we'll come back. Oh, there's another. What's that? I like that one. Oh, they're all different. Um... Yes, if I can get this food cooked, I think I'll be happy and call that a success. Um, so let's put the wood on. Plenty of wood. Light the fire and see if that cooks. Right click for more options. Transfer, drop. Don't know. Um, or do you maybe... No, I bet I'll eat that raw if I put it... Can I 
might take some of it back. Let's hit shift. Shift halves it. Shift again. Yes. And again. Right. If I put one there and I hit seven, will it eat it or will it hold it? Oh, it ate it. Oh, rotten food. Oh, man. Damn. Right. Hold E for more options. Demolish access and then repair fire. Um. Eating raw food is not but it's another year of one of the cooking. Uh, folder view, transfer, sort, uh, campfire, wait. Ah, maybe I've got to make. Maybe I've got to make a. Like a spit type of thing. Storage, uh, no, not yet. Oh, oh, that's a long way off. No, there must be a way to cook meat. Oh, oh he puts it out. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Um, so what am I doing? Yeah, he lights it. Access inventory. Uh, oh, there. Ah, right, right, right. Oh, I didn't even see that. Let's swap that for that. presume cooked meat will last longer okay great oh that's cool so let's see how much health do we get for eating uh, food so 91.9 and if I eat a piece of that whoa wallop well up yes oh that's the way I only ate one fantastic um, so there was some spoiled food appearing there uh, I guess that just disappears when it's gone off because um, I don't see any rotten rotten food in here so I'm not carrying around rotten food and I've got a point to spend let's spend the point and we'll stop the video there um, wait all right fortitude don't know anything about that yet I think that's the fighting one um, stamina water's fine so oh so what do I want um, stamina let's just stick it in wait and let's spend these eight points we'll have the water skin in case we leave where the water is and we want to build a base next so let's oh can i not do that oh two points oh i just spent them all on the water skin oh man right so we need to level up a bit more and ah, next episode we will try building a basic base well i hope you've enjoyed watching that i've been tall man brad and if you did enjoy the video um give it a like and feel free to subscribe that would be great and i'll see you shortly for a bit more arc survival evolved